Isabel, Beth Marie, Angie, and myself. We created this mural describing our school and it represents our school. So like when people come in, they kind of like just see it and get a view of what we do. Supervisors passed a proposal to outlaw plastic straws and centers in the city. So today we had two problems and we were working in groups of probably six and we were saw each group had one problem with two parts and it was really fun to be able to collaborate with my friends and see their opinion on the problem. So Holyoke STEM Academy is committed to being a high-performing, innovative, and responsive school where students become effective communicators, resilient problem solvers, passionate learners, and global citizens so that they can be successful in high school, college, and beyond. The teachers work really hard to make sure that it's a place that you want to be and you want to come to school every day and that everything you're learning is so like interesting and done in a good way where you even if you are struggling with a specific topic you'll understand it in some way because they give you multiple ways to solve a problem instead of just giving you one clear way we like the school it's yeah it's pretty big and there's everything we wanted in a school i would like to tell all my friends that this school is not just going to let you stand on your own and work hard on your own, that they will love, they will love you and they'll help you and they'll stick by you so, so that you can work hard alone and get your great education. Our curriculum engages students in science throughout all content areas, so they engage in science by reading informational texts in ELA, they engage in it in, through their writing class and social studies looking at science effects on history, they also have it in science classes, we have a Project Lead the Way program, in grades 6, 7th, and 8th, in which we engage students in hands-on, real-life problem solving. STEM is the fastest growing sector for our youth, and many of the jobs and, and fields that they will enter college or enter a career in haven't even been thought of. And so we are really trying to enhance their 21st century learning skills by building a solid foundation now in middle school, which will allow them to become productive citizens when they enter those careers that haven't yet been created, especially in technology. It's really important because there's so many jobs with opportunities to use your STEM. Like there's so many jobs involved math and science and technology because everything is surrounding technology nowadays. And to learn about it at such a young age, it's so important because it builds a foundation for you to go on to later careers and improve your education. I love my experience here and to give us more responsibility so that we can be shown the way that to work with others. Strings go from under and over and then it attaches to this one at the bottom that you yank on. It made me learn how how unique the human hand is. STEM week, I personally really enjoy it because I've always loved science and it's using real life situations that we are going to have to face in the real world but putting it in a fun, scientific way where we're able to discover and do different experiments to try and figure out how we would actually live like on the moon or how, how we need to code to learn, like program robots. I like that at the end of STEM week that the parents can come in and see everything we did. For example, the lunar colony, we got to build a lunar colony. We believe in really creating kids that are effective communicators, really have a resiliency and a passion for learning and can be effective citizens when they leave here, not only in high school, but also beyond us.